All right, so it's time for the 2.3 tutorial part two, where we're going to be drawing a frequency polygon. Now, frequency polygons a line graph. All right, so let's look back over here at the data. Now, if you want to make a line graph, you've got one problem. Lines are made out of points. You don't have, you've got the y coordinates for the points, but you don't have the x coordinates. Mm -mm, no good. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to right click to me, click on this first of all. So I'm going to click on F, makes that down arrow. Then I'm going to right click, I'm going to insert. I'm going to type class midpoint. There we go. All right, now the midpoint. The midpoint is not what most students think it is. It's not that you add up 24,000 and 26,999 and divide by 2. Because this is really 26,9999999, right? 999.9999. So what you really want to do is add up this number and this number. Add those two up and divide by two. So that's what we're going to do. Equals. Don't forget your parentheses. So parentheses, 24,000 C2 plus C3. Close my parentheses. I'm going to add them up and I'm going to divide it by two. Enter. That gets me a midpoint of 25,500. 0, 0. That's halfway in between 24,000 and 27,000. Now you could do that again for the next one, equals parentheses 27,000 plus 30,000, close your parentheses, divided by 2. Or, notice something right here, look, what's the difference between 28,000 and 25,000? Hmm, what's the difference between 27,000 and 24,000? Hmm, and these two? Hmm. They're all 3,000 apart because that's the class width. It was set up for us back in 2.2. So what you can do here, instead of what we did, is you can type equals that first class that we made plus 3,000. Hey, same number. And then I can drag it like that. Cool, huh? All right, so now I've got all my class midpoints. They're all 3,000 apart because that's the class width groovy. Now I've got that part. Now i got to make the, the line graph. So let's highlight the frequencies. Don't get the 51 in there. That's just the total. Insert. Click on line. I prefer the one with the markers, but if you don't want markers, you can do the top one. I'll do this one. All right, now we got to clean this up just like we did for the frequency graphs and bar graphs and histograms. And Let me move this down here. So I'm going to delete, oops, scroll down. I'm going to delete the series. Delete. Okay. Now I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to add a title. This is the frequency polygon of disposable income. And this was 2006. Oopsie. Cool. Um, let's see, let's add um, axis title over here, vertical axis title, oopsie, I didn't want that, um, vertical axis, rotate the title, and I'm going to type, um, this is frequency, I gotta have that. By the way, if you're wondering how I got rid of what I had mistyped so quickly, control Z, as in zebra, um, it undoes what you last typed. Before we get out of here, the really important thing is these horizontal labels are bupkis. We don't want these at all. So let's right click down here and go to select data. And we've got to edit the horizontal axis labels just like we've had to before. And the polygon uses the midpoints. That's why we created them. There, you know, let me move this down so you can see. F2 to F9, because f one's a label. Right. So F2 to F9, click OK, and then click OK, and let me scroll down so you can see it. There it is. That's the class midpoint down here on this horizontal axis. And we're set. Awesome. You can add a horizontal axis label if you want, but you don't have to. Right. But you got to have the vertical axis label that this is frequencies over here. Otherwise, these could be percentages for all one knows. And I think we are all set with that polygon. Right, next time it'll be the OJAV.